done a big job. When? Since when? That look like my daddy. When you start liking my daddy? You like black people's features like that? If this ugly is good looking, then all is good looking. It appears that Jonathan Majors and Megan Good's relationship isn't quite the fairy tale romance they've been portraying. According to Cat Williams, things are quite toxic between Jonathan and Megan. Given the circumstances surrounding their relationship, it's not too hard to believe Cat's claims. He first called out Jonathan during his messy interview on Club Shay Shay in January this year, but it seems he has even more dirt on Jonathan now, alleging that Jonathan has been physically abusive towards Megan. What's going on here? Does Cat have any evidence to support his claims? Or is he simply trying to bring down another black man? As Dave Chappell suggested, let's delve into this. Megan Good and Jonathan Major's relationship has been in the limelight for the past few months, but the scrutiny on them goes back even further. Jonathan's love life has been under media scrutiny since he was arrested for domestic violence against his then-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. Megan, on the other hand, has had her love life in the spotlight since her divorce from her ex-husband, Devon Franklin. Unlike the usual drama-filled celebrity splits, Megan and Devon's divorce was surprisingly straightforward and drama-free. They even presented a united front, breaking the news with a joint statement on Instagram. They said, after much prayer and consideration, we have decided to go into our future separately but forever connected. We celebrate almost a decade of marriage together and a love that is eternal. There's no one at fault. We believe this is the next best chapter in the evolution of our love. We are incredibly grateful for the life-changing years we spent together as husband and wife. We spent weeks trying to figure out what had gone down between them because if there was one couple we thought would be endgame, it was Megan and Devon. We tried to piece together what went wrong, but the puzzle pieces just didn't fit. As expected, there were many conspiracy theories, with fans speculating about everything from infidelity to Devon being secretly gay. The imaginations were running wild. Despite all the drama, Devon and Megan handled things with grace online. There were no messy accusations, no blame games, just a lot of questions that we still haven't gotten answers to. These two kept their mouths shut about the divorce and moved on. They seemed to handle it in different ways. A couple of days after they announced the divorce, Devon posted a picture of himself crying on Instagram with a caption. I took this picture a few months ago. I'm not much of a crier, so in a moment of deep pain and peace, I took this picture. It captures best how I feel. I share this with you because it is the most honest way to start this year. I know we are starting a new year, yet I don't wish you a happy new year. I wish you a happy true year. He was cloned hard on social media because as we all know, the internet hates it when people post crying pictures of themselves. It just never goes well. Megan, on the other hand, chose to see the positive side of things and made posts like, 2021, you brought me. The highest life-changing, affirming highs and the lowest gut-wrenching, soul-breaking lows. Although I'm grieving, I'm also in glorious awe and thankfulness to you, God. They say all endings are also beginnings, and healing isn't pretty, but the other side is freaking beautiful. It seemed like they were in two completely different worlds, and fans were left wondering what on earth was going on. Well, if there's one thing you can trust fans to do, it's to dig out the truth. Soon, internet one of FBI agents figured out that the reason the marriage broke apart was that Devon allegedly pushed Megan to change so much that she lost herself. It sounds crazy, but now it all makes sense. For those out of the loop, Megan and Devon first crossed paths on the set of the movie Jumping the Broom and clicked instantly. But there was a catch. Devon was a pastor, and while Megan was spiritual, some felt they weren't quite on the same spiritual wavelength.
But you know how they say love alone doesn't always cut it. It takes a boatload of compromise. In this romance saga, most of that compromising weight fell squarely on Megan's shoulders as she had to undergo major transformations to fit Devon's ideal of a preacher's wife. In this interview, sweetheart, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. Cancel, cancel, baby. But that's what I am gonna say. What? I'm sorry, but my man is sexy to me. Yeah. Okay, he's very okay, okay. Oh, oh, I we, just, we just need to be all the way. While Megan was trying to fit into the expected role of a preacher's wife, her career was taking several hits. To make matters worse, things didn't quite click for her in the marriage, despite all her efforts to fit into Devon's mold. Adding fuel to the fire, she faced serious bullying and harassment from some church members. And when I say bullying, I mean serious harassment not just a few snide remarks from some mean girls. Meekin endured outright mistreatment because certain church folks didn't think she measured up to the standard of being Devon's wife. It got so bad that she eventually gave up on going to church altogether, just to avoid all the negativity. It's the nerve for me. If that lady had any real concern, she could have pulled Megan aside, maybe at the supermarket, instead of putting her on blast like that. Even then, it would have been rude, but not nearly as brutal as what actually happened. That comment really hit Megan where it hurts, confirming why she never quite felt at home in that church. If someone's willing to shame her like that in public, who knows what goes on behind closed doors? It's crazy that even after all the changes Megan made at Devon's insistence, she still got picked on by the very people who should have welcomed her with open arms. To his credit, Devon did step up to defend her sometimes, but it wasn't always enough. There were moments when he wasn't around or couldn't speak up, leaving Megan to face those insults alone. So not only did she deal with all the BS, but she also had to fit into this new role shaped by her husband. And let's not forget the whole kids thing. Megan had always been upfront about not wanting children, but those nosy church folks from Devon's congregation just couldn't help themselves, always asking why the couple hadn't started a family. Let me tell you, it wasn't out of genuine concern or care for her. After the split, Megan totally transformed into a fierce queen, and everyone was buzzing about how she probably felt stifled in that marriage because she had made a complete turnaround. Also, remember how Megan used to say she wasn't into having kids when she was with Devon? Well, it turns out Devon was the one who wasn't keen on the whole parenthood thing, and she just rolled with it. Speaking to Romper in early 2021, she said, when you say you're not sure you want to be a mom, people look at you like you're a bad person, as if something's wrong with you. But I was never really that girl who said, I can't wait to get married, or I can't wait to be a mother. I was very much a tomboy and started my career so young that I'd always been very business oriented. The moment the divorce was finalized, Megan suddenly started talking about how she couldn't wait to have kids. What do you want next? Oh, but that wasn't the only major switch up. Her whole style did a complete 180, but the biggest shakeup came when she started seeing Jonathan Majors. People were already curious about Megan's love life post Devon, but when news broke about her in Jonathan, the internet exploded and fans went wild. If Jonathan and Megan had gone public just a couple of weeks earlier, fans would have swooned and declared them the ultimate couple goals. Unfortunately, they made it official right smack in the middle of Jonathan's DV trial, turning it into a total circus. Megan got slammed left and right for this, and fans accused Jonathan and his team of using her, a black woman, to clean up the mess he had with his ex, Grace Javari. According to TMZ, Jonathan and Grace were in a taxi on their way back home from a Brooklyn bar when she noticed he was getting texts from another woman. This led to an argument in the back of the taxi. Tim has reported that Jonathan allegedly got mad 
grabbed her hand and slapped her. We're also told the alleged victim claims he put his hands around her neck during this incident. Sources say the alleged victim had visible injuries, including a laceration behind her ear, redness, and marks on her face. She was taken to an area hospital and is in stable condition. According to police sources, Majors called 911 himself to report his concern about his girlfriend. When police arrived, sources say the girlfriend told a different story, that she and Majors were in a cab on the way home from Brooklyn when he physically attacked her. Patrol officers noticed marks on the woman's body and placed Majors under arrest. So the, the canceling, uh, the, what, what, what do you think about this cancel culture? You see the situation with Jonathan Majors, I mean, for all sense and purposes, I, I don't know, if maybe he can bounce back in, in a couple of years, but man, he was, he was hot. He was hot, as, he was cooking. I mean, you see him in Creed, he's in the Marvel movies, and then just like that. Maybe I'm a conspiracy theory, but I thought Cat Williams. Cat didn't stop there. In addition to claiming that Megan and Jonathan cheated, he also alleged that Jonathan had already been violent toward Megan. While the truth of this claim is uncertain, Kat is now sending a strong warning to Megan to be careful around Jonathan. However, Jonathan is furious about this and called Kat out for his BS, accusing him of hating and making up stories to fit his agenda. According to an insider, Jonathan believes that Kat is thirsty for attention and clout and is constantly making up stories for that purpose. But Jonathan thinks that Kat has gone too far this time. Fans have commented, what I take from Megan Good dating Jonathan Majors is that whatever she and her ex had going on in that Christian marriage must have been so bad she just lost all her marbles. Another added, I want to remind people that Megan Good knowingly went into a relationship with a man who was already in a relationship and was abusing his girlfriend. She then appeared at every court appearance in support of him after playing a role in the relationship's breakdown. Megan Good will never recover from this, and that's unfortunate because she had just jumped into a resurgence. This was the worst decision she could have made. Decision she could make Jonathan crazy self may come back, but her fan base is not a fan base that forgets this kind of mess. But do y'all believe that Jonathan is really putting paws on Megan? Drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video music.